Well, actually, I don't see him yet. I just kind of wait there. You know, you got to play it slow. You know, you got dead silence. That silence works all the time now. I love dead silence. That silence works all the time now. Dead silence. That silence works all the time now. Dead silence works all the time now. Hey, what is going on, guys? This is Connor Semsky, and today I want to talk to you guys about dead silence in Call of Duty 4. Last night I dropped a bombshell on Twitter that I thought most people, or not most people, but I thought a lot of people knew about um, at the time, but apparently no one knew about it, and uh, Twitter started exploding after I posted this, and all the S&D stars and all these different people started tweeting out and talking shit about Dead Silence or uh, defending it, and I'm going to give my opinion. This will probably be a little bit of a controversial video, but I want to get a discussion going in the comments, so leave your opinion in the comments. So. Uh, we're at a fucking civil war with the pitchforks, the fucking rifles, everything, you name it. SND community is at a civil war in this fucking game. So if you guys didn't know, uh, basically Pamaj posted this video, it was SND on District, and you know, I was sitting there lamping, watching the fucking video, all was good, and um, I watched it and I heard him say, dead silence works all the time now, and I shit my pants, I couldn't fucking believe it, I'm like, have I been missing out on this the whole time? So uh, I basically chopped it up, added a fucking few funny things to it, and I uh, posted it on my Twitter. Twitter started exploding. All the SND stars, bunch of people started going crazy, uh, saying, "All oh, the game's fucking ruined now. This is basically turning into ghosts. Uh, oh, you can sprint around with no consequences." Because if you guys didn't play back then, uh, you can actually hear dead silence, even if like they have the perk on. So uh, it was kind of ridiculous, and it kind of changed the way the game played. Um, more so now than ever because everyone has $300 fucking headsets on crazy turtle beach Astros you know what I mean uh, times are very different now and um, with these really good headsets people are able to hear uh, all sorts of stuff back in 2007 and 2008 people didn't have that kind of technology uh, and their headsets you know people had maybe like one or two people uh, you know with the fucking turtle beach x ones that are so stupidly old and outdated now but um, that's really all they had back then gaming headsets weren't as mainstream as they are now pretty much every dude in every lobby even in pubs has a headset to some degree and um you know you're gonna have something and that wasn't the case back then a lot of people played even competitive cod 4 gbs and whatnot uh, on a tv huge ass fucking plasma 55 inch tvs you know those huge 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 ones that had like the fucking thing coming out of the back yeah people played on that with the speakers built in and that, that was really it and sound whoring wasn't as big of a deal but uh, i've gone back and played the game in recent years and anyone really that has gone back and played in recent years will be able to tell like you can hear anything across the map and it is so annoying especially in singles and stuff uh, or if you're in a 1v1 situation you might hear this dude uh, that's just trying to go plant the bomb across the fucking way and it's super annoying and it kind of makes the game feel even more outdated now uh, they have changed this in the remastered version it is completely silent so the perk actually functions correctly and I don't understand why people are so upset about that um, there's people saying um, it completely changes the flow of the game people are just gonna be able to rush around like idiots and get picks and get behind you and whatnot I just don't feel like that's such a bad thing I grew up during the time frame of like MW2 like that's when my honeymoon stage of COD was uh, for competitive and stuff that's when I started and MW2 had Ninja Pro Ninja Pro was completely silent not only did that game have Ninja Pro, but it also had Marathon Lightweight UMPs running around. That game was incredibly rush heavy. Are you going to say MW2 was a shitty SND game? Because in my opinion, it's probably the best of all time. A lot of people will agree with that. Um, but I, I mean, I'm kind of biased here. I did not play all the way back in COD 4. I did play the game competitively to an extent, but obviously not to the degree of some of the old timers. So my opinion could be... Uh, somewhat irrelevant to them, but uh, you know, I played during MW2. MW2 was perfectly fine. 
uh, with the running and whatnot. And this game, COD4 Remastered, doesn't even have an unlimited sprint perk. There's extreme conditioning, that's really it. But if you, per uh, if you put on extreme conditioning, uh, there goes your dead silence to begin with, so you're going to be able to be heard. It all balances out. The perk balance is fine in the game. People are saying it's completely ruined the game. They're going to go fucking boycott outside so uh, Raven Software. Like, dude, it's... I don't think it's that big of a deal. It makes the game... It, it makes it a more modern game up to our standards in 2016. I think it's doing exactly what the game needs. A lot of people will disagree with that, uh, especially the old timers, but hey, that is just my opinion. Let's get a discussion in the comments. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, remember to leave a like rating, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Peace.